Well, Newbie still grouped up his five. EG holding the high ground as Kaka goes rolling in to start off the fight. It's Faith up on the high ground. Arteezy pops the BKB but can't find any targets. Sumail gets locked down. He's taking a huge amount of damage and will actually fall. RP comes through and it's a pretty even fight so far but Newbie finding the advantage as the Laguna Blade comes in to finish off Universe. There's the Ravage from Tide. Connects on two. Might be enough to find this kill onto Arteezy. A buyback now comes out, making a double buyback as Sumail wants to get back into this party. And with the buybacks, Newbie will get cleaned up. KP left all alone. And without the Ravage, are they going to be able to kill him? He's going to TP out. They don't have any more stuns. And he's there. He's free. It's just got to be super frustrating for Newbie because they're like flexing their muscles in these team fights, and it looks like super impressive. Okay, Kaka's going in. Oh, Shackle latches onto a tree. RP from Universe on the back line. Ravage is oh, available, but it's a stolen, stolen RP. RP. All these little skirmishes now breaking out, but it's a buyback from the Lena, and EG will start to clean this up as KP drops the Ravage, but Sumail is BKB'd. He jumps further forward, and they're starting to clean this up. Juggernaut, the la lone survivor here as Tide goes the other way. It's going to be a disaster for Newbie, and they will not have any buyback. Left. Just as we say that, Draskal, this is almost like a GG moment here. Juggernaut's the only one that has a buyback. Take the safe route home. Dyer's Does that have, have that TP scroll? <laughs> if you're going to catch your Fenrir's the one to walk into the damage here. Resolution going to be dealing solo with FY. Gets cross bitten up. There is going to be an overgrowth connecting onto the three as ROTK with that Iron Shell starts to go to town. They bring in the Storm Spirit. The egg comes out from the Phoenix as there is going to be a scream. Moon Meander lays out that primal roar. Everyone getting very, very low on VGJ. Three heroes down. F why soon to fall as well. That's going to be four for nothing. Fenrir with just a scratch of health making his way into the trees. Moon Meander. Dark Seer's wall is back up, so it could go into the old vacuum combo. Just has to get in there. Medusa trying to keep everyone's own back with a couple of snakes. And there's the back wall combo. But this time, Medusa going in with that stone gaze. They lock down Dark Seer again. Roshan still getting low, still affected by that solar crest. It looks like the road finally goes down to the Dire squad. They lose the Rubik as the rest of the Radiant keep diving in. FY goes in with another ult. Can they stop him? Man, Moon Meander just stays in there altogether too long. Resolution out of mana in some trouble, but Ember Spirit starts raking in the kills. There is going to be another overgrowth coming out as Ember Spirit might get focused down here. He's getting low, but with another Searing Chains, might be able to secure the kill here onto Aggressive. Aggressive is going to fight to the bitter end and will find the kill on the Ember. And that's going to be the PA dominating now going back in. Resolution is just completely out of mana, and Aggressive's going to take this opportunity to pop the Aegis. I don't think they can go for a second kill here as Phoenix is TPing back in. Deuce is going to be up with full mana, so her effective HP is crazy. Set up near the shrine. It looks like they're trying to bait Thunderbirds into a bad fight. We'll see if they're going to fall for it. Now two Hawks Dyer's just walking forward and immediately killed off. They ping out Freeze. Dyer's they know he's around, and we'll see how far they push this. Leading the charge, goes in, gets the double man searing chain, spraying out remnants left and right, although aggressive, gonna be BKB, looking to turn things onto Wii, will get stunned up at the Primal Roar, RTK goes in, but they got Medusa already yelling out with that stone gaze, gets two heroes, this is gonna be huge, it looks like there could be a wipe, Freeze trying to run for the hills, they will get under Shrine, but yeah, they're just gonna be TPing out, they go for the searing chains to cancel the TP, they will be able to find this kill, ROTK just frantically surging around, but that's a godlike streak for this Dusa. She had a slow start, but my god, is she online. A bad end from casting yeah. heals and shield on an ally. It's not like you can just get blade mail and be like, oh, he's too strong, we'll blade mail it back. It doesn't work because you're healing that guy and you're putting a shield on him that only reflects 200 of the damage. We see XXS trying to jump in there. We'll find Puppy. I'll take the Ricky at least. Burning's put the BKB in God's strength for this. They'd love to find Ooh. more. They'll get the hook on Kezu. But oh, mid one just jumps in and two shots down. The fat boy looks towards Q. They'll be able to pick up the Venge as well. A double kill for mid one. As his role in the scan continues to be an incredibly strong one. Burning will bring down Pi, but now with the Diffusal Blade charges, just zoning Jeez. Burning, controlling him out. Diffusal it's blade. triple kill for mid one, and they're moving on for more. This could be Rampage territory, no. But Boca will make sure there's no more, no more bloodshed on IG as he hooks back. The profits of the, the oh, Pudge Midas. Says he's going to lose another duel. He jumps in, gives away his life to mid one. There's the Ultra. Give the man the Rampage. There we have it. GG is called. But if it's possible, if he does do it, it'll be a glorious play. For now, Raven triggers Metamorphosis and TNC. They start their pressure. Tinker will arrive. They need some vision up high ground. Pasha actually going in with Lil's the blink crush. Nyx assassin. He's the one that has to be spike hammers in the RP. There it is. Four heroes caught with the cleave damage. TNC.
No, lose practically everything. The Agassi Mortal will trigger. So Terra Blade comes back to World of the Living. Caught around by three heroes. Raven tries to fight. Sunder is available, so he'll steal the life from Pasha. But Randy's moves back up again. And Vodas Pro, they hold the line. By a big RP. Oh, they, they're using Raven as the bait. There's your bling crush. It's over on the Tinker. And they have to keep pushing Cuckoo away. He had to tank the Shallow Grave, which allows the Dazzle now to fall. A good double stun from Sam creates more space. Raven wants to fight, but here they come. The kick was perfect. Perfect! Perfect from Tim's cancelling off the RP and killing off the Magnus. Mag will now buy back. Pasha standing his ground, gets the bash on the Raven. It may just be enough with a follow-up cross from Lil. They'll do the work, but Tim's is there once again, working with Sam H. Lil, the silence again, and Kuku arrives, the laser, the rockets, here goes your RP from no one, Solo, what have you got left, the freezing field, that won't do it, the spike carapace instantly cancels it, so Solo has to go on the run, no one protects himself with his own shrine, Solo's the man will have to take it again for the team, inside the tree lines, the rolling ball to fall, but Kuku found the kill, how much damage can they do, they can look to the range racks while three heroes from VP are down with no buybacks available. Just timed out, so they need to refresh their vision, or they take Roshan themselves. And in fact, that's exactly what Lil does. Jump in. It actually triggers, so amplification can now come up. So they have the extra damage, but TNC, they are so close. The weave connects on the three heroes. They know what's going on. The three man's done. Maybe with the RP on the back lines, no one has recovered. The BKB will do the work. Roshan, the Aegis Immortal does go the way of Randy's. No one actually Raven able to sunder him, but still not enough to stay alive. Randy has himself a double kill. Looking for more. Three heroes down for TNC. And it's Sam H, Spike Carapus, follow up stuns. He can't even trigger the Aegis from spec. They just have to run themselves away. Virtus Pro get the perfect fight. Wow, the way they moved around with that smoke too just missed the the Roche. If their smoke had popped as they were uh, smoking down from the shrine, they would have cleaned them up in the pit. Uh, so yeah, especially when he sends them to mid. Free T3 damage. Yep. Even without having to trigger Metamorphosis, the illusions already hurt the tower so much, and they find an opening. It's gonna be Lil. That's the gem of true sight lost. Tim's will end up picking that one up. Oh, this is really bad because now they don't really have that many threats for the fight. Without a life stealer infested on Lil, I think the Tinker can kind of just run free. Spectre if, does not have enough damage to kill the Tinker by himself. And if Lil buys back, like it's going to be very much telegraphed to TNC. So they can just retreat out. So you can't even set up the infest combo with Pasha. And Aegis is down. Ramsey's his life is at risk. Uh, there goes the tier three. Bit by bit, TNC are claiming the buildings inside VP's base. The Hex is there, the RP will connect with the kick from Tim's! Perfect! The form silence, BKB from no one. It may be enough. The Cleave is still doing his work. The Shallow Grave is out. It's actually protecting the Terra Blade, who was able to sunder himself back up for Ramsey's. He needs to die, and Raven's able to oblige. Not to mention Tim's. Another three man stun. This guy is a god. The buyback will come in from the spec, allowing him now to haunt forward. Raven will fall, and this will be a costly defense, but a defense nonetheless from Furnace Pro. Tinker. Needs a TP out, needs something. The Cuckoo, Rearm, can't do it in time. Not while the Shallow Grave is there. So there's no Tinker. He does not have buyback available, but Terra Blade as well as Nyx do. You gotta jump, but it's really hard with a Lotus Orb on the side. Raven just wants to chip. He looks towards the ranks. This will force VP into some level of engagement. The kick was trying to create a little bit more space. There's a Frostbite over on Raven. That melee rank has dropped down low, but not low enough. Tim's Earth Spirit. First right out. They still don't have the double RP. No one's waiting for the perfect opportunity, but it's Terrorblade. They know he's waiting to drop down low so then he can stun that. He does it over on Pasha. He dodges the Lotus Orb target for Raven. Drop down low. They'll need the Shallow Grave. Raven, there it is. He'll keep himself alive. RP is out. It's the control there long enough. They force off him down. There's the Sunder. Another force off. Raven will fall down solo. Value Nova finds the kill. Tim's was the rolling ball around. He'll actually roll right into the middle of Pasha. Terra Blade will buy back. Wow, he wasn't actually able to enchant, enchant Remnant on him too. Tim's died without using his ultimate. And all, they were like all in on saving the Terra Blade right there. And of all things to die to, 67 Nova. sort of Crystal Nova. Oh my god. <laughs> because Lil and, and, uh, 
and the freaking live stealer, Pasha, have just been holding hands this entire time, and he oh, walks hello. straight into them. The hex will be there. This will be a big opening if they can actually get both of the kills. Slada's down for two minutes with a follow-up stun. The window has been left open from Virtus Pro. Live stealer will have a buyback, but with no slaughter, no amplification, no secondary crush. This may be exactly what TNC needed. What a perfect time for a smoke, too. Unfortunately, they did use Metamorphosis for that because Raven's like, wow, what, there's just two heroes here? Pete's as soon as he saw the life pop out, he's like, okay, there has to be more, right? Pete's got Refresher in 15 seconds. Yep. So you're, you're still going to have it to go. So without Slaughter, do they have enough control? No one? This is on you. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure, Magnus. You know, if he didn't hit that big RP on top uh, with the four-man RP, I think the game would have ended like 40 minutes ago. So he, he, he delivered already once when the game was on the line. As a wise person once said, I'm fairly certain this game is going to be ended on an RP. I'd be more surprised if RP wasn't cast. Yeah, <laughs> on, on a failed RP. Okay. That's, that's more of a negative way of looking <laughs> at the fight before it happens. It technically, it would still end on RP. There's your jump forward, Ramses. Already copying a fair chunk of damage from, from Raven. They protect them both with Lotus Orbs. But Ramsey's not too healthy, has the Aegis. It looks like it's about to trigger. He's so low, 100. He went down to 20 HP, still surviving. So there goes the Aegis, Immortal onto the Skewer. They can hold him there, but no, no one actually gets stunned. Raven, the RP has to come out from no one. Hold him in position, solo. Now lets it go, but Raven, the damage is again too much. So I have to back up a little bit further. Get away from the next Assassin. Secondary RP committed, but Raven, another saving grace. They're just holding him there. He'll sunder his own Dazzle, the man that kept him alive. He had to sunder his own teammate. Refresh Raw about create more chaos. Virtus Pro, the defense. Terrorblade is finally brought down. Tinker will join him. They're both dead for two minutes. With this window that was meant to be open for TNC, VP shut it closed and then shut the glass. Even with all those defensive codes on the he still cannot save a lot. Stay the timer is actually like 30 seconds, but that is way too long. I uh, think this, this is game. Gone. It's gone. They're like, what? They don't have buybacks? Oh yeah. god, let's just, let's, let's just end right here. Yeah, Tim's is trying. Tim's is trying, but no one blinked in front of him, canceling the rolling boulder out. And Tim's is doing everything he possibly can. Another crush, but Pasha will come in. That's the game. That's VP taking game one in 74 minutes and 26 seconds. Again.